Hi, my name is Victoria Phillips and I'm so excited to be leading a presentation for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own sugar skull art prints inspired by the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. This project is going to show you how easy it is to make cross-curricular connections in your classroom. Interdisciplinary curriculum is so important for our students because it provides an environment of inclusion where all of our students feel seen, valued, and appreciated. So today, I hope that you enjoy this presentation, and I hope that you can take something that you've learned today and apply it in your classroom. I have provided additional resources for you. Please feel free to use those resources in your classroom. We are going to go ahead and get started. Uh, before you start, please make sure you have all of the materials that you need. You need paper for printing. You need a foam plate or styrofoam plate, washable markers, a pencil, wipes, or a damp cloth um, ruler if you need help making sure your lines are even. And, of course, uh, scissors and paper to sketch out your um, skulls with. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is... Fold your paper into four sections. This will give you four equal um, rectangles for you and or your students to sketch out their ideas. This it provides the students the opportunity to generate and visualize their own ideas about what they uh, perceive sugar skulls to uh, be and what they want their sugar skull to look like potentially for the project. So it gives them the opportunity to problem solve how they want to arrange their designs, their patterns, geometric shapes, all that jazz. Uh, so make sure they do this part. That is meeting uh, visual arts creating one. Um, and then what I've done is I've pre-drawn um, out my sketch and then uh, you simply place it on the print plate. What I like to do is cut out the best sketch, or I encourage my students to cut out the best sketch from their four preliminary sketches and then use it to make the printing plate. So just lay the sketch on the foam or the styrofoam plate and draw out uh, the lines around it and then cut it out. You can also prep the plate uh, by cutting out the plates before the students arrive. That's what I actually uh, typically do so that when they cut out their um, piece of paper, all they have to do is lay it on the printing plate that I've already prepped for them and then just trace out over the um, printing plate your designs. Um, you want to make sure you're using a dull pencil. As you are tracing, the paper is going to start to rip and that is okay. After you sketch out your design or trace it, then you're ready to start print making. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have our paper ready to go and then you can select whatever washable markers you want um, for the printing plate itself. I decided to go with some color, uh, more colorful, um, vibrant options than the normal um, markers, but you can choose whatever you want for this uh, part of the project. And um, what you're going to do is you're simply going to draw or color in your designs. I encourage my students to really just take their time and um, put their best work forward using craftsmanship, care, and precision. And that's going to help make sure their prints turn out successful. So you can use whatever colors you want for your printing plate. I wanted bright colors because I wanted it to be festive. and uh, reflect the celebration of the Day of the Dead. Very colorful, lots of details and patterns. You want to make sure the entire surface of the print plate is covered with your washable markers.
Whatever colors you used the first time, you're going to use for the second print. So be mindful of that as you are working, or at least that's what I have my students do. Just with our time frame, it's hard to, um, to uh, have time to clean the printing plate, let it dry, and then uh, change colors. So just uh, for the sake of time, the students typically use the same colors for their second prints. Alright, so now I have my print plate ready. I'm ready to make my first print. So you're just going to take your white and you're going to just wet the paper so that that um, ink will transfer to the paper. It just needs to be damp. It doesn't need to be soaking wet or soppy wet. Just uh, enough to ensure that the ink will transfer. Then you simply place the plate on the paper and press down for about 30 seconds. You want to massage the plate into the paper and then voila! Thank you so much for joining me today for this presentation. I 